No, for years, Shamari Alexandria worked out of her home garage, creating some really beautiful party decor. And after putting the right pieces into place, she was finally able to open up an event space on the city's west side. Weeks later, COVID hit. But this mom of four with one on the way stuck with it. And now it's time for the return. I am Shamari Alexandria. I'm an event planner here in town. The name of my studio is Alexandria Style Studio. <laughs> so I was um, decorating for a while before I even considered having a building. My husband kind of was like, do your thing, go for your dream. So we started looking for buildings. We drove around for a year. Then it, it started out as a big old warehouse. It was gray, dirty, concrete floors. We, there were no walls in here at all. And I drew it out on a sheet of paper. Like it's kind of like the vision just started coming alive. It, it was almost unbelievable to see it was really happening. It, it was amazing. We were open for about a month before we started hearing about COVID. Um, we had no clue what it was. Of course, nobody knew, you know, what was going on. Everybody was kind of confused. What are they going to say? Are, are they going to make us close? And they made us close. It, it was like a whirlwind just hit. We were trying to figure out, you know, where do we go next? Some days I sat in my closet and cried, just praying about it, um, hoping that something would change. I would say June or July, um, we started to see some hope. It's almost like people kind of like clicked into, I'm tired of this, I'm ready to go back out into the real world. And the phones are ringing off the hook. It's a blessing to see um, all of the clientele that we have coming in. COVID taught me uh, how to run a business. I was only open in an actual facility for a month, so I had a whole year to think, to plan. <laughs> it's all, it almost leaves you speechless to think about how it started versus how it is now. You know, things are working out for the female business owners featured here on Good Morning Jacksonville this week, but there are systems needed to be put into place to help ensure that more women win in the workplace. So tomorrow we're going to delve into the issues at hand and what needs to be done. We hope you'll tune in and chime in here on Good Morning Jacksonville.